training status doesn't just look at today's run, it analyzes your long-term training habits. It helps you understand how you've been training over time. So let's take a closer look at training status. Training status gives you a big picture view of your fitness progress so far. It's based on your VO2 max, H or V status, and your short-term training load over the past seven days. These help guide your future training decisions. For example, even though your fitness naturally goes up and down each day, if you've been running or training consistently for over a week and your performance keeps improving, your watch tracks your progress and spots the trend, and show productive on the training status screen, based on your training so far. Let's say you're preparing for a half marathon. In the final taper weeks before race day, your VO2 max usually peaks. If you're also eating well and getting enough rest to keep your HRV balanced, your training status might show peaking. That means you're in top shape and ready to perform at your best. On the flip side, if your training status shows overreaching and your HRV is poor, it means your training load is too high and it's starting to hurt your fitness. That's a good time to switch to easier workouts or even take a full rest day. Give your body the recovery it needs. Acute load reflects the impact of your recent workouts and whether they're helping you maintain or improve your fitness. But if you stop tracking for a while, overload can sneak up on you, hurt your performance, and raise your injury risk. That's a wrap on training status. Next, we'll take a look at training load.